Hello everybody! In today's video, I'm going to tell you what to do if your phone's keyboard stopped working. Recently, many Android smartphone users faced a problem with a keyboard app. When they try to use it, it displays an error and stops working. The keyboard issue is especially painful for those who prefer a numerical code to unlock their devices. The keyboard may suddenly stop working while you are trying to type in the code which leaves you virtually locked out of your phone. This issue hit the, the Gboard app by Google, but the solutions we are going to offer will most likely work fine with keyboard apps by other developers too. In a few minutes, you are going to see how to unlock your phone when the keyboard misbehaves and how to make this app work properly again. Hello, friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. First of all, let's see how you can unlock the phone which requires a numerical code while the keyboard isn't working. If you visit a specialized forum or contact a tech support center, most likely they will tell you to reset your phone. However, it means losing all your data, photos, videos, contacts, SMS and more. Just in case you are willing to sacrifice all that stuff, visit our channel to see a good video about resetting a smartphone. Check the link below. But if you are not ready to go nuclear for such a small issue, don't worry. There are solutions which will leave your information intact. Watch a good video about resetting a password in our channel. One of the methods may help you out, so just check the link below again. The first solution I can offer is quite simple. Open Play Store in a browser and install a different keyboard to your device. Here's a trick. Open a browser on your PC. Go to Play Store website, find a different keyboard, for example SwiftKey or any other app you like, and when you do it this way, it is possible to install a keyboard to your phone even if the screen is locked. After installation, you will be able to choose from the two keyboards you have now. So, choose the one you have just installed, and here you are. Now you can enter the password and unlock the phone. If the first method doesn't work for some reason, try connecting a physical USB keyboard from your PC to your mobile device. To do it, you will need a special adapter – OTG or USB Type-C. When the keyboard is connected, check if you can enter the password this way. If you still can't unlock the phone, well, resetting is not so bad if you want to keep using it, right? Now, let's see how to bring the faulty keyboard back to life. Quite often, mobile apps crash or encounter errors and keyboards are just as good as other applications, which can be illustrated by the recent problems we had with the Gboard app. When trying to start typing some text, many people saw a message saying that Gboard keeps stopping. Such errors may appear after the app was moved to the SD card or after another update, as it happened in the case with Gboard. This is what you should do if you encounter this error. First of all, turn the phone off and take the battery out, if the design of your phone allows to do it. Then put the battery back and power on your device to see if it helps. In some cases, this simple trick works. Another effective measure is cleaning the phone's cache and removing junk files. Do it by using integrated utilities or downloading third-party apps to clean your device. If you encounter errors when typing some text in a specific messenger or browser, check if there are any updates for this software that your device is missing. If there are any, update your app. However, if you see this error every time you want to type, something must be done to the keyboard app. Open Settings – Apps – All apps and find the keyboard app on the list. Clear its cache, data, and force stop. Your actions will reset the keyboard settings. After that, restart the phone and check if the keyboard app works properly now. If the arrow is still there, remove the app and install it from Play Store again. If the app is absent from the list, probably it is a part of the firmware and is not listed for that reason. If this is your case, go to Play Store and open My Apps. 
find the keyboard on the list, remove it, then install it again. If you fail to restore normal operation of the keyboard you used to have, go to Play Store and download a different app. After all, there are lots of stuff to choose from. When you install a new keyboard, you may need to choose it as the current keyboard to use every time you want to, uh, to type something. Go to Settings, Language and Input, Current Keyboard. If none of the methods helps you, uh, there is only one option left – reset the device to bring back the older version of the standard keyboard. After resetting, disable automatic update for your applications for some time and don't update the keyboard app manually. And that is all for now. I hope this video helps you fix the problem with the keyboard. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell button to receive notifications and never miss new videos. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck.